intra uterine growth restriction that means the fetus is growing less less than it is expected and basically this igr is a manifestation of the disease associated with maternal problems or the placental problems or the fetal problems any of these problems can result in igr now coming to the proper definition of igr and if the weight of fetus is less than 10th percentile of weight appropriate for that gestational age or it is less than two standard deviation below the weight which is appropriate then we call it as igr and the first sign by which you can detect igr is the abdominal circumference measurement on ultrasound and it will be decreased in cases of igr so this abdominal circumference is the first parameter on ultrasound to decrease in cases of igr now we'll understand this definition of igr being plotted on a graph and if the x axis shows the gestational age and on y axis we have the length or the weight of the baby then two standard deviations above and two standard deviations below the mean it is considered as normal and if the weight of the fetus is more than two standard deviations below then it is called as igr and if it is more than two standard deviations above the normal then it is considered as macrosomia now let us see how the fetus grows during the entire period of gestation and in first 15 to 16 weeks of gestation that is up to 15 to 16 weeks only the hyperplasia of the cell circles and the weight increases by 5 grams per day thereafter in the second phase of growth which extends up to 32 weeks of gestation there is both hyperplasia that is the increase in cell number as well as hypertrophy of the cells and in this phase the increase is 10 grams per day and from 32 to 34 weeks till term there is only hypertrophy or majorly hypertrophy of the cells and the increase in weight is around 30 to 35 grams per day and it is during this phase that most of the fetal fat and the fetal glycogen they are accumulated